Hello my friends and welcome back to Noobville. We are the Rod of Dog clan and we are playing RimWorld if you haven't guessed that already. So I've been playing a bit off camera and I think I have a little bit of direction to go in. Um, I haven't waited the extra day to uh, get comments or anything. I'm just going ahead and recording this today just because I'm kind of in the mood to do it. Uh, so I went through the wiki, did some reading and I've gone and come into the, uh, the work uh, manual priorities and I've readjusted a few things here as to what they're suggesting and they suggest to put the firefight on uh, priority one uh, patient on priority one and flick on priority one and then anybody who has uh, like really good skills in various things and just got to click the window here and just get things rolling over okay so anybody who has really good skills and some are the best skills I guess we have zero cooking here but we have a, a two skill here so anybody that has any kind of skill in anything we're sort of putting that priority one on the important stuff like cooking wardening growing stuff like that so I've gone through and done that anybody who has a passion for something I've gone to uh, priority two and uh, everybody else is either a three or a four or anything else is either a three or a four so plant cut I kind of want a bit more priority and everything else is kind of backseat to uh, whoever has a the uh, the efficiency in it so I've gone through and done that we might have to adjust things a little bit better yet but uh, I'm just gonna go with that for now okay and another thing we need to get going and I think I'm going to uh, we set this up as a prisoner area but I think I'm going to change my mind on that and we're gonna make it a medical area instead so this is going to be a medical area I'm gonna make a special uh, prisoner area sort of away from everybody else here so we're going to do that. I'm not going to do it right now because there is another priority I want to work on, and that is uh, power. And uh, I don't want to do anything with wooden walls either. So I think what we're going to do is get some uh, stone bricks going. So in order to do that, we have to go into production and grab our stone cutters table. And oh, uh, so I guess we could just make it out of wood. I'll we'll make it a little more robust. We'll make it out of steel. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay. And uh, just going to go into furniture here. And it was a suggestion to maybe put some stools like here, here, uh, right here, and here where they're going to be working. So they can sort of sit down while they're working, make them a little more comfortable. And we do need a, another chair at the dining table. We do have a fourth person. So I'm going to throw that in there. And I figured out this is the mod that's doing these uh, these uh, arrows here. So if we come on here, you can see quality build. So I think what happens is whoever has the best skill for doing this will actually do the build. And that's what those arrows mean. I can click them off, and then anybody will build it, which I could probably do for these chairs. I don't think it's a real big deal that we have a quality built chair. but so And uh, it'll, I think they get built just a little bit quicker. So we'll just do that. All right, so that's that. Um, so yeah, we want to get some uh, st uh, some stone bricks going so we can make walls out of stone instead of wood because we're going to get some power going and we don't want to run conduit through wooden walls because it's a fire risk. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this wall yet. I might just de deconstruct it and go with a, a stone wall instead, maybe reclaim the wood. We are a bit short on wood. I'm um, going to beautify the rooms a bit as well, but I think we'll get that going and uh, we'll just proceed that way. All right, so, um, yeah, we definitely got to get some more wood cut. I'm just wondering if I shouldn't just deconstruct that and reclaim the wood rather than cut more trees. But I think we're going to need some trees cut anyway, so maybe we'll just do that instead. And chop wood come in and get all these out or as many as we can anyways and we'll just see how the workflow goes okay cats researching and one thing I probably should have done first was maybe devil strand uh, we can we can grow that uh, in our gardens for uh, uh, materials for making clothing and stuff as far as I understand and speaking of growing, I should almost get another area and maybe plant some corn just to, to uh, get that uh, sorted out a bit uh, or uh, mixed up a bit. 
And we are low on food, so we better maybe just get whatever we can right now. Um, yeah, maybe we better work on that, because we are pretty low. Uh, I think what we'll do is maybe... The orders. And I think I did this. Did I not? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know whether I did this just before I left last episode or not. But we'll uh, we'll get some more of this stuff going. And there's not much around either. A few things, but... Oh, there's a bunch in there. Okay, so we'll get that going. We'll make some meals out of that. Uh, we do have 28. I could cook a couple more meals, but... Uh, Yeah, maybe get rid of the wood in here, too. Chop that down. Oop, one more there. Okay. So we'll get that going. And here comes our stonecutter's table. And as soon as that's done, which I think it is now, let's get some stone blocks going. Uh, we'll just make them out of granite. And I'm just going to go maybe 10. I think if we do this 10 times, that gives us like, is it 10 per? I can't remember. I'd, uh, I've only done it once. so But we'll get it going regardless. And we'll just come into our work here and just have another quick look. Okay, so plant cut. I should almost get somebody on a higher priority on that so we can get that going. Is anybody sitting around doing nothing? I don't think so. What is everybody doing at the moment? Probably out. Uh, where is everybody? Hello. <laughs> oh, there's Sab. And he's doing nothing right now. So maybe Sab can maybe... Uh, oh, you, don't, you can't even plant cut. Okay, well, maybe we'll get you... Uh, I'm just trying to think who does the uh, crafting stone cutting okay so maybe we'll get Sab to prioritize uh, stone cutting I think he should go over and start making uh, stone bricks and there's all kinds of granite laying around I think you'll just pick up pick up on that and, uh, and he's hauling things Just see what he's up to here. And we'll speed up a bit. Yeah, he's just hauling stuff. Okay, well, maybe we'll uh, take him off of hauling. Yeah, just to get him to prioritize that a little bit better. And it's nighttime, of course. Okay, so everybody's sleeping. Might as well just uh, proceed a little faster then. All right, so um, as soon as we get some stone bricks, I will uh, dedicate a spot to doing some power and get some refrigeration up and running as well. Could almost do a refrigeration unit in here or something a little closer to the stove. Yeah, I kind of want the stone bricks to do that because we've got to run power through the walls. Yes, a little food, I know. Uh, maybe I better put a bill in for some food. And we do like 10 of those. And everybody's waking up again, so we'll just slow down a bit. I'm just going to go to normal speed while I sort of get things sorted out here. And... You should. Oh, you got crafting. Okay, that's fine. No, include stone cutting and smelting. I took you off hauling, so he shouldn't be hauling anything. What is he doing? Sab, what are you up to? Researching. Oh, okay. Let's get you off research then. Let's just maybe put that off. Oop, all together. Get him prioritized on doing some stone cutting. Now you're wandering. Sandstone, sandstone. Maybe we don't have any granite chunks around. Slate. 
Maybe we don't have any granite stones around. Okay, maybe I better retool this to be slate. Uh, where do we go to do that? I think we'll just cancel that though. We'll go slate blocks. How's that? Come on, buddy, do something. <laughs> Okay, I think he's heading that way. There we go. Yeah, I guess there's no granite around this problem. Okay, so there we go on that. So let's maybe speed up and get that going a little quicker. There's some meals. Okay, so there we go. We got some... Uh, Slate chunks or slate uh, bricks coming, and we'll just see how many of those we have now. We have 20, so that'll just be a minute to get those up and running. So let's maybe come down and maybe uh, nobody's cutting plants down here. Oh, maybe that's what you're coming over to do. Yep, okay, so there we go. And cat's gonna give a hand. So just take a minute to get some materials together, I guess, and maybe clear this area out a bit, and we'll get some solar panels up and running. I guess I could uh, maybe do the order on that. Um, in the other game, I had one, and it really didn't do the batteries much good. Uh, two was actually the, the better number, so I'm just going to actually throw these in here, I think. I'll leave a spot so we can get up that. I think we can get around it anyway, so maybe we'll just go like that like that. Then maybe I'll put a room for batteries here. And then we'll put the refrigeration unit in this area somewhere. Okay, we got 80 now, so that should kind of be enough to maybe get going on. Some slate walls. Okay, so I'm going to put a slate wall. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, hold everything. <laughs> okay, we got a raid. <clears throat> they are attacking immediately, so we have no time to actually uh, prepare ourselves. And it's one guy here. Okay, he's got a slate club, and he's attacking a wooden door. I don't know what door it would be. Could be this one. So he's coming this way. We got some sandbags here, so that's a good thing. So who has our rifle? You have the pistol, so I'm going to recruit you. And you have the rifle, so I'm going to recruit you. And I'm going to move you here, and I'm going to move you here. Okay, so there we go. And maybe slow down a bit while we prepare for this. And thank you, autosave. And here he comes. Yeah, I don't have a prison area anymore, do I? Uh, what kind of gear is he wearing? Uh, let's see. Apparently nothing. He's naked, so there's not much he... I don't know whether we can bother... Maybe because we don't have a prison area, maybe we'll just outright kill him. I'm sure we'll get more raiders through, and whether we want to recruit him or not, I don't know. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. Okay, now. Um, okay, he's downed. He's not dead. He's just downed. So, yeah, we don't have a prison area, unfortunately. I guess I could repurpose this just quickly. I don't think anybody got injured in that fight. So, maybe we'll just repurpose this and maybe lock him up. Or should I just outright uh, take him out? There's no gear on him. Uh, let's see what the character's like. He's got shooting. He's a good cook. He's intellectual. He's a nudist. Okay, so I guess we don't need any clothing for him. He dislikes women. That might be an issue. And he's lazy. 
Yeah, we got three women here, so he might be an issue anyway. So you know what? I think we're just going to maybe finish him off and just uh, get rid of him. Okay, Sab, you can do the dirty deed. Uh, kill him. Kind of brutal way to go, but okay. <laughs> wow, he's tough. Is he dead? And he's dead. Okay, there we go. So, let's uh, get these guys back to their normal duties. And there's a club here, so maybe we'll unforbid that. It's awful quality, uh, deteriorated dude. Okay, so we'll maybe get that stockpiled. If we have to use it, we'll use it. And our dumping stockpile, I think, was... I forget where you can put that. I think it's over here somewhere. So that's where we'll probably end up putting the body. Okay, so that's that. Now, back to what we're doing. We're doing solar panels. So, uh, we're going to cut that out, and I was just about to put a wall down. A slate wall. And I'm just going to run that along here. And then I'm going to run, I guess, a 5x5 five five maybe, or I think that's probably big enough for batteries. Just a room for batteries. And, oh, I guess I should put a door in there. And maybe a slate door. Is that a possible? I don't know about a stone door, but okay. And we'll maybe cut that out of here. And we'll get into power, and we'll grab us a couple of batteries. One and two. And we'll run some conduit along here. And I think we've got to go into there already exists. I guess we don't have to actually run to the panels. No. So that should get us power up and running. If I've done everything right. Okay, we're going to cut that out. And Sab's having a meal. So who's on construct here? I've got Sab and Minla. Or Minla. Okay, I'm just going to speed things up a little bit more again. Okay, so here you come. I think you're carrying slate, I hope so. Yep, no oh, hauling steel for the solar generator, okay. that up and running first, that's fine. Hauling steel again. Yeah, we're a little ways away from our stockpile here, so a bit, so maybe we'll speed up a little bit more. Okay, so Sab's still busy making blocks. It looks like we're going to have a fair bit here, so that's good. Here comes Cat. And guess what? It's night time again, so we'll just let that go. All right, uh, we've got lots of wood kicking around, so that'll get stockpiled whenever everybody uh, finishes up here. Com oh, combat supplier from the, okay. And I see it come at night when everybody's sleeping. But I think you should be around long enough to uh, take advantage of that in the morning. Uh, where is he? Oh, a whole bunch of them. Oh, he's got lots of stuff, probably. And somebody mentioned that we have silver, so we might be able to actually just trade silver for some of this stuff. Okay, here they are. And I don't want to really interrupt their sleep too much, so I think we'll be fine. It's almost time to wake up anyways. We'll just maybe slow down once that happens. Okay, so we have us some training to do. Uh, what do we need? Uh, let's see what they have first. So, uh, 
We'll leave Sab doing what he's doing. Taz is doing what? Oh, they're just about to eat. And the other two are still sleeping at the moment. So I guess we could interrupt Taz's meal to maybe do some trading. Okay, here we go. Oh, what have we got? Uh, looks like we got a great bow. I mean, you know what a pila is. Throwing spears, okay. Short bow. Plus steel spears. Awful club. Herbal medicine. Might be interesting. Component, pemmican. Okay, um... Wouldn't mind a couple other, uh, maybe, uh, ranged weapons. Uh, we have silver to trade. We have 800 of them. Um, wow, those are going to be expensive. They got one of those. One great bow, one short bow. Now, I don't know what we have for shooters here. I'm just going to pause for a sec. Uh, just go into characters. Uh, we have one shooter. We, he has a gun. Two shooters three shooters okay so I'll give you the knife you currently have the knife so if I get one more bow I might get both of the bows just in case we get another colonist with uh, shooting shooting abilities that sounds like maybe a plan so we'll trade so yeah let's get the the great bow and we'll get the short bow it's going to cost us 384 silver to get those. Uh, herbal medicine might be worth getting a bit more medicine. We got 23. Oh, uh, less potent than industrial pharmaceuticals, but not much better than nothing. Or, but, but much better than nothing. Well, I don't know if that's worth it or not. They're 15 apiece. Yeah, they got 280 pemmican. We are low on food. How much to get all of that? Oh, way too much. Okay, never mind. Uh, zero. Uh, but we will get some of it, maybe. There, we'll get like 15. So that uh, spends up 500 or 800 silver. And somebody did make a comment that there is some silver around. I'm not going to go look for it right now, but we can uh, do that. Now, female wargs, but we're not going to be able to afford those. Two female foxes. Okay. Wooden spear. Now, I wonder if a spear is better than... Superior spear. That's uh, going to be more money than we have, but I could pull back on the pemmican, maybe. Might be better than that plasteel knife we have. That might be an idea. So let's maybe pull back on the pemmican a bit and see if we can maybe get that spear, the superior spear. Okay, we'll just pull back on this stuff a bit. And one more. Okay, I think that's what we'll do. So that gets us a bit better weaponry anyways and a bit of extra food. So let's accept that. All right, so there's a trade done. Um, I guess we'll end up stockpiling. Or now, I don't know whether I can equip if I don't have... Where's the spear? There's a spear kicking here somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So can I equip that? Yes, I can. I don't have to drop the uh, knife first. Okay. And we have uh, you with the pistol. I don't know whether that's better than a bow. But I think you can do some shoot. No, who does the other shooting? So you got the survival rifle. You got the plasteel knife. Oh, no, I want you to take the superior bow, actually. Equip that instead. And we'll get you to do the spear, which is not sure where that went now. Oh, it's right here. So you can equip the spear. Okay, that should be everybody equipped a little bit better. And the other bow will just get stockpiled, I guess. 
Same with the plasteel knife. Okay, so that's that. And how are we doing here? I guess everybody's doing other stuff still. I think we probably got enough of those. Oops. Yeah, there's only one more to do anyway, so I guess I'll let him finish that. Okay, so a little bit slow to get all this going. Got interrupted by an attack. And he's still laying there. I'm pretty sure we did a... I think it was over here somewhere. Uh, just better double check on that. And dumping stockpile. I'm not sure where I put that. Did we even put one in? Well, I might put it over here. Just put one over here just in case I didn't do it. Can't remember if I did it or not. And that's where the uh, the corpse will end up going. Okay, and that's starting to get built again. So hopefully we can get a refrigerator up and running here. Before the end of the episode. All right, so you have a pistol, you have a great bow, you have a survival rifle, and you have a wooden spear. And we'll speed things up again, I guess. What's that? Steel slag chunk. You just haul that out of here. Okay, there's one solar panel and one battery starting to get charged. Perfect. Here comes our slate walls. And we can now make our own pemmican. Okay, let's go to the research screen and let's get double strand. And maybe we'll try to uh, get some of that growing so we can make some uh, clothing and stuff out of it. At least I think that's what we make clothing out of. Like I said, I, I played a little bit off off camera and uh, sort of got all this kind of stuff figured out. Ooh, what the hell was that? Okay, I guess that was here. Uh, all 101 watt days of energy connected to the batteries have been discharged in an electrical explosion. What happened there? Could be because it's still under construction, just wasn't quite wired properly, I don't know. I'm sure that's kind of like a random event or something. I hope. Okay. Still got 85 chunks left. I think we should have enough to get the uh, refrigeration up and running. I didn't put a door in here, did I? <laughs> Let's put a slate door right there. Okay, so that's getting uh, closed in. All right, so there we go. So, power should be up and running. So we're starting to store some power, perfect. Now, let's uh, look at, let's maybe get that tree out of here. And we'll make, bring this out to about here. Now, I remember they're saying not to make the refrigeration unit too big or else it won't, uh, cool properly and we have to leave a gap for the actual actually I should maybe do that here maybe so cancel that one because we have to leave a, a spot for the cooler so we'll bring the wall here a little bit there and we'll put a door right here okay so let's go to temperature and here's a cooler and we want to make sure that the blue side is in, or else we'll pull the, the warm air inside. And I'm guessing that means that we'll be connected here. 
Do I have to run a conduit anyways, I wonder? Okay, let's put it down. Or is that close enough? Well, just to be on the safe side, maybe we'll run a conduit. Through there. All right. It's kind of a small area, though. I wonder if I should not extend that a little bit. That might be a good idea. So let's cancel this much here. And we'll maybe extend this wall out a little further. And go like this. And I'm going to cancel the door here. I'm going to put it on the other side, I think. To, so there's not so much walking to get there. And we'll put the slate door maybe here. Alright, so that should get a refrigerator up and running. And now we have to actually put a stockpile in here. Uh, stockpile zone. Okay, and we will... Oops, no, 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 no. Cancel that conduit. I keep doing this. Power. Cancel that. Okay. Let's go to zone area. Actually, we'll go storage and we will put uh, animal corpses, yes. Human corpses, no. And no on that as well. And we don't want, okay, we'll leave foods on. And we'll take manufactured, raw sources, items, weapons, apparel. I don't know whether we want to allow rotten. Probably not. So, all food stuffs will come in here. And any animal corpses for meat will go in there as well. And that should be fine. And I think that will bring this episode to a close. So I feel like we made some headway today. At least uh, we're going in some kind of direction. I uh, still got to sort out our growing areas. All right, so uh, refrigeration, and it's nighttime again, so let's just speed this up again. Maybe we'll try to get this done before the end of the episode. Okay, so growing areas. Ah, looks like we're harvesting some food here. So it's probably a good idea to maybe get some more of this happening. I'll go for another 10 simple meals. And cargo pods. We have detected a cluster of carbo... Car oh, where is that? Jump to location. Okay. Uh, I do have the mod orders to unforbid everything. I don't think I have anything forbidden right now, so we'll just unforbid everything. That was Rod of Dog who suggested putting that mod in, so we could just one-click and un unforbid all the stuff. And it's morning again, so... Oh, cat has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. Well, that's not good. It's your own cooking, too. <laughs> I thought you were a decent cook. Uh, oh, hang on, health. Food poisoning. So, consciousness, 50%. Uh, yeah, we do have a medical bed here, right? Yes. Okay, so... And because we prioritize patient, she should go take care of herself, I would think. And who else? Who do we got on doctor? Minla is the doctor. Okay. And we have a Taz as a writer, and he's all he's a secondary doctor. Uh, harvest failed. What's going on there? It's not good news. Why is harvesting failing? Are you terrible at it or something? Let's just pause here. Plant cut. Hmm. I'm not sure why that's happening, but we're harvesting some of it anyway. And it looks like Sab has nothing to do, and we're out of granite chunks, so maybe we'll just queue up some more of that. like 10 at a time so don't bog them down too heavily 
Yeah, this isn't going to get done until that's finished. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So I guess maybe we'll just leave this episode like that for now. And uh, you'll get some, other, some more of that done. And we are harvesting. And I might set up a secondary growing area. Maybe get some corn and mix it up a bit. And uh, hopefully that research gets done somewhat soon. We can get some double strand and maybe get some tailoring happening. I do have a tailor bench, but I don't think we have any materials to work with yet. Okay, so yeah, I uh, figured I'd record this today because I have a bit of a direction and an idea to go in anyway, so I figured I'd sit down and do that. So there we go. Anyways, we'll call this one to a close and we'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna, this this will be publishing every other day and I've got the Call to Power series that will be going in between them. So I got Distant Worlds coming every day, this every other day and Call to Power every other day. So that's two episodes of stuff a day. And we'll see how that schedule works out for us. All right, so uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.